and welcome to Griddle Cooking with Chef Sherry Ronning. Today I will be making for you some yellow beans on the griddle. I love yellow beans. We, I have them from the garden right there is our garden right there. So I um, just got some yellow beans my husband picked for me from the garden and uh, this is our first beans, bean, yellow beans of the season. And I'm super excited to make you guys some griddle yellow beans. So let's get started cooking. All right, I have my griddle preheated. I have it on low because um, this is a, something that you're gonna wanna cook low and slow. Um, I will be making some griddle yellow beans today, fresh out of the garden. Ooh, I am super excited for this recipe. So let's get started. You, we're going to use some oil. I'm going to put some oil on the griddle here. And I have the fresh beans, the yellow beans that are clipped. I clipped the ends of them. They are whole, so you can cut them up in pieces if you want. I just have them cleaned, washed, and ready to go. So we're going to put that right on the griddle. You hear a little bit of sizzle there. We're going to do just uh, a thin layer. We're going to spread it out so it's a thin layer there. And um, I'm going to use, so you can use um, like leftover bacon. You can cut up into pieces for this. I'm one that we usually eat all the bacon whenever we cook it, so I don't have any leftovers. And I always like to have this on hand, especially during bean season. Uh, I It's a fully cooked bacon bits that are real bacon bits. This is not the imitation ones. These are real bacon pieces. And this is what I use in this recipe. Um, and it, it will make your beans super, super tasty. This is one of the things that... Um, I love adding to it. There's all different kind of add-ins that you can do. So, you know, just add as much or as little as you want on there. It does have the grease in the bacon, so it will, um, you know, you'll get it into the, the beans there. As you can hear, it's sizzling, so the griddle is hot, and but I don't want it really, really hot. So I'm going to start, but I'm going to eventually add this. This has, a, 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 this is the olive oil that has Parmesan and garlic in it, but I'll add it closer to the, the end of cooking because I don't want the garlic to burn. So this is something that I love adding to my recipes to give it a little bit of flavor, but because of the garlic in it, you don't want to add it too soon. But you can also use butter, like if you want to do butter in this, you can also add butter. That is an option. And then you can just season, to season with your favorite salt and pepper or season salt and pepper, you know, whatever it is that you like. So the trick with this recipe is we're going to be using a dome lid. So I'm going to take some water. I have water in a squirt bottle. I'm going to squirt a whole bunch on here and we're going to steam cook this. So you can just let it go and just keep on um, cooking it. But the trick is steam cooking to get it to cook a little bit faster. And um, it just, it just, it's just something that I like to do with it. And we're just going to go like that. And then we're going to try to trap as much of the steam in there as we can. And we're just going to let this cook. The, um, the things that I like with the, the yellow beans, I have done them just, you know, you don't do it with the lid, you don't do it with the steam, you just cook them on the griddle as I'm cooking things. You know, I like to make this with smash burgers. You can do it with a, a nice griddle steak and, or like a garlic butter chicken goes really good with these beans. So you can be cooking stuff on this side and then just kind of let this cook as this other is cooking. Um, you know, so there's different ways that you can cook these beans. And, um, you know, it just all depends on what it is that you want to do. Do you want more of the golden brown um, color flavor from the beans? Do you want to quick cook it? With the steam in the dome lid, it's going to cook it faster than you would if you were just to cook it without in on the griddle. 
So, um, but like if you're cooking steak and you're cooking chicken, it might take a little bit longer. So you might not want to use the dome lid because you might want to try to get them to, to be done at the same time. So it's just all different. It just depends on how you want to cook with this. And, um, you know, it, and it can be beans. I don't suggest using, um, like canned beans with this. You can use it, but it's going to, it's already cooked and they're going to get really mushy. This, I suggest using fresh beans, the uh, fresh beans from the garden. We have, I planted these, um, Memorial weekend. So this is the first beans from our garden. And, um, I love bean season. I will make beans almost every night. I do them on the griddle. I do them um, boiled on the stove and I do them in recipes. I will make um, the beans, uh, meatballs with canned beans because we, we, we will usually we have such an excess of beans sometimes. And so we'll can some and I'll use those canned beans in different recipes and like slow cooker recipes in soups. They're really good in soups. So this is something that's kind of versatile, the beans, but when we're doing the griddle, it's awesome to be able to cook this on the griddle, nice and slow. Farmer's markets too. Look at your local farmer's markets for some really good beans, um, farm, farm raised beans. They're the best. I'm telling you that there's, there's nothing better than farm, than garden yellow beans and we do the green beans too so it's the yellow beans green beans are kind of the same thing let's give this a, a check here so remember when you're using the dome lid you don't flip it up you leave it we're going to slide it over so that the heat stays in there you're creating an oven effect around the beans so we're going to pick it up you can see the steam there you go so you can use your spatula if you want i did bring out my um uh my tongs here that I'm using and just to toss it a little bit we're getting a little bit of color but not a lot I can tell that the beans are cooking and so another thing is you have to decide on how you want them do you want them al dente do you want them a little crunchy do you want them soft you want them mushy so where I'm going to add I toss them really good I'm going to add just a little bit more around it I'm not going to do so much in the middle. I'm going to do around it so that we will get some of that. Um, it'll cook on the griddle a little bit more versus it being the, the steam will come around it, but it will also cook on the griddle a little bit more. Um, so we're just going to let this cook. We'll come back in just a couple minutes. These probably take about, you know, maybe 10 minutes to cook. And if you want them, like not more than al dente, I don't like them crunchy. I like them just soft. I don't like them mushy either. So, you know, roughly, but it's going to depend on your griddle too, how hot you have your griddle. Um, and every griddle is different. I've, I've really discovered that, that my griddle is um, not as hot as every, uh, some of the other griddles that I've used or cooked against. I have um, a Griddle Secrets membership that I offer, and I, I'm cooking the same time that others are cooking, and um, we're doing the same recipe, and a lot of times their recipe gets done before mine, and I think it's just because of the griddle, and they're coming out with more technologies with this griddles, with the griddles, with the heating cores, and that kind of thing, so cooking times are going to vary. You just need to uh, adjust the cooking to what you need. Or what you know look at your food and see how long how long it's gonna be so um, I'm saying 10 minutes roughly for my griddle it may be five minutes for your griddle it may be 15 minutes you know it just all depends and it all depends on how you're cooking we're just gonna let this cook So I'm going to, I just gave it a little quick toss there and I got a small one here. I'm going to just try it and see. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Mm, not bad. A little crunchy. It did fall apart a little bit. 
um, but it's still just a touch crunchy. So we're not doing too bad. And um, I have my paper towel here. But um, I'm going to add at this point the olive oil. So to give it a little bit of the, the olive oil, garlic and Parmesan Delano's. Um, this, I love this. I use this in a lot of recipes. If you watched my other videos, you know that I use this a lot. Um, it's super tasty. It is um, super handy to have all the, the garlic and the Parmesan and the oil right in it. But one thing is you have to shake it up really good because it has a tendency for the, the olive or the garlic and the Parmesan to stay in the bottom. So we're just going to let that cook a little bit and it's not going to take too much, too much longer to cook. And, um, so other things that you can make on the griddle is the same, using the same technique would be making zucchini. Um, you know, I do the zucchini squash. I do the summer squash, the yellow summer squash. We'll cut it up into thin pieces and um, we remove the seeds out of the middle of it, but I'll use the olive oil. The same cooking technique that I'm doing here, you can do with other vegetables. You can do with this with carrots, slice up carrots really fine. You can do it with um, uh, butternut squash is a really good one that I like doing it with. Even potatoes. I mean, this is a good technique to do with potatoes if you want to do um, like just some home, uh, what do you call it, um, like, um, I want to say home fries, but I don't know if that's the correct term for it. Just like little cooked up potatoes to go with your, your main me meal here. Um, you know, there, it's pretty much, we've done, we've done all kinds of vegetables this way on the griddle. So I'm going to check this. We've been probably close to about 10 minutes on here. We're going to lift, remember to lift up. We've got it cooking in the oil there. And we got some nice color. The bacon is all nice and crispy. It's crisping up from the oil. So I'm actually just going to take, I'm, you want to make sure you test this before you pull it off the griddle. That's one thing is you don't want to pull it off the griddle and then discover that, dang it, it's not, um, it's raw or it's, you know, cooked al dente and, and it's, you know, not exactly what I want. So you, I suggest testing it. Make sure you don't burn yourself because this is very hot. Perfect. Mmm. Nope. It's perfect. So I'm just going to remove this from the griddle. And I'm going to try to leave the oil on the griddle. You, you don't want to have it um, sitting in a pool of oil when it's sitting on your plate here. Mm -mm. Look at that. You can grab some of the bacon for the topping on there. Like that. Mm-mm. Look at that. The perfect griddle yellow beans made in just a few short minutes. I mean under 10 minutes that it, it was to make this. You can make a whole big thing if you've got a large family or a large crowd that you're cooking for. You can use the whole griddle surface for this. Um, well, I just wanted to show you a close-up of my yellow beans. Look how amazing that looks. Super, super good. Let's give this a try. I tried a little bit of it earlier and so you can see it is still holding its shape. It's not like mushy or anything like that. So um, it's still holding its shape. Oh, mmm, perfect. It's not crunchy. It's not, um, uh, you know, it doesn't, it's not like undercooked, but it's not overcooked. It's not real mushy. So. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Make sure, make sure to check out my cookbook. 
recipes for the Blackstone griddle. I have all kinds of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and appetizers and snack recipes in there. I'll leave the link down in the description. I will also leave um, a link to this. I have a blog post that I'll write up on this. I will leave the recipe down below for you. You can go to my website from Michigan to the table.com. You can find all kinds of Blackstone griddle recipes there. I have all kinds of them. So I hope you guys enjoy this yellow bean recipe fit fresh from our garden just a couple hours ago. So have a great evening and we will see you again soon. Bye.